Yo, what's up guys? So I have the AOK Zoe A1 Pro here and AOK Zoe themselves just released a RAM, VRAM customization tool. So we're just gonna check that out, download it, um, run it and see um, what it's all about and see if there's any improvements that we can gain from this VRAM customization tool. So we're just gonna run through that today really quick and check it out, yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is download it. They actually sent an email with a link to the, um, the tool so let's just download this here and um, they said it wasn't very hard to really navigate but they also gave a warning that you shouldn't do this unless you are comfortable modifying the device but then they have a video that shows you how to do it and it's just pretty much a click to install so I'm not sure if that's just a disclaimer for like legal reasons but it doesn't seem to um, be very hard to do at all it's just pretty much you download it install it run it and that's pretty much it so we have the AOK Zoe VRAM adjustment so we're gonna go into here and they said we just have to run this and that is going to update the BIOS as well as um, download the VRAM utilization tool so as you can see here current BIOS version does not um, support it so we need to update the BIOS so we just click update BIOS it's going to run a command to update the BIOS. Also, while this is going, if you guys want to check out this um, cable here, it's a magnetic cable, but it supports up to 100 watts. So if you guys want to check that out, it's 360 degrees and it does rotate. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link to this cable because I think it is pretty cool because it supports 100 watts as well as um, is magnetic. So you can leave that in your device, just connect it and it does 100 watts. Okay, so we just finished installing the um, BIOS. Now it's going to restart. So it's pretty much two steps. It, it updates the BIOS, and then it gives you the option to customize the VRAM. So it's going to restart now. Uh, from the video that they posted, it's a pretty straightforward process. I will say that this is the 64 gigabyte RAM AOK Zoe, and it has um, 12 gigabytes already dedicated to VRAM. So I'm not sure how high you can push it, I'm not even sure that you would need to push it any higher because most games are going to max the GPU before they ever touch 12 gigabytes of VRAM on a system like this. But they they gave us the tool, so I just want to check it out for you guys and see what it's actually about. All right, it's booting back up. So I'm guessing that it updated the BIOS. We go back into the system and do the next step. Okay, so we're back in the system now, and now what we have to do is open back the RAM adjustment tool again. So we just go to our downloads, open that back up again, RAM adjustment. And now we have some options here. So we can go all the way up to 32 gigabytes of VRAM. Um, <laughs> this device does have 64 gigabytes of RAM. I'm not sure why would we, we would want to have 32 gigabytes of VRAM, but I guess just for this, I'm going to do it and maybe we'll, we'll go back to home. But just for this test, we are going to have 32 gigabytes of VRAM, you guys. I guess I guess that would be good for the thumbnail or title. I don't know. I didn't even know you could go that high. But if anything bad happens, um, well, now you know why. So let's press OK and hope for the best. All right, so now the system is restarting. Okay, so the system is restarted now. Let's get back into it and see if the um, the RAM adjustment actually did um, take effect. All right, guys, we are in the AMD software, and as you can see here, we have 32,768 megabytes of VRAM, or 32 gigabytes of VRAM. <laughs> You guys, this is this is just I guess this is a meme at this point. I don't know why you would ever want to do this. I I am a hundred percent sure this is not going to give you any boost in performance. So I don't even know why this is an option. We have thirty two gigabytes dedicated to VRAM, which is crazy because the RG Ally has sixteen gigabytes of total system RAM, and now we have twice that just dedicated to VRAM, which is just crazy to think about. I'm gonna run one benchmark to see if this even does anything so before for context it has 12 gigabytes of vram so now we have like 2.5 times that and we're going to run this benchmark and see if there's any improvement 
Okay, so we, we ran the eternal benchmark at 1080p low settings, and we got an average of around 45 FPS, which I believe is one of the highest scores we've gotten on the eternal benchmark. Um, I'll check back in some previous videos to see um, just how high we've gotten, but it is definitely a, a pretty high score for eternal. The thing about it is it was only utilizing a four and a half to five gigabytes of VRAM, so 32 is definitely unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it's just, I don't know, it's just something to say. We have 32 gigabytes of VRAM, which is just, I never thought I'd even say something like that. But, yeah, so at the end of the day, my conclusion is that 30, 32 gigabytes of VRAM on a system like this is completely unnecessary. Um, just the fact that we have 64 gigabytes of VRAM, I don't know, it's just fun to test. Anyway, that's, that's it for um, this video, you guys. Pretty easy to um, set up. If you have like the um, 32 gigabyte model, you can probably go up to, I don't know, 16 gigabytes, 10 gigabytes, 12 gigabytes of VRAM. It's not really going to help you too much in most scenarios, but it could be um, the specific um, situations where having slightly more VRAM could be helpful. Yeah, now we have way more than we need and <laughs> And yeah, so we have we have twice the amount of VRAM as the ROG Ally has for its entire system, which is 16 gigabytes. And even the um, ANA 2S, this one has 32 gigabytes of, of RAM total. This has 32 gigabytes of VRAM. So <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's just a crazy stat. Nothing that's really going to give you a medium for improvement in gaming. Uh, anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment, all that good YouTube stuff. And yeah, let me know what you want to see next. Peace.